All right, once again, keeping things very simple. Now there are more people that have been dropped down. So definitely more presents that we want to eat them. Took about half the casualties, a little over half of the casualties for the Hormigons, but that's pretty acceptable. Nothing else is really taking anything. The biggest thing was the Tavaragon. I kind of wanted to outflank. I took the Warlord trait, Acute Senses, to kind of hopefully get over there on the other side and stop spawning bugs. But apparently the Hive Mind thinks it's a different idea, so we're going to have to go with it and see if we can swarm uh, critters over this side. Still flying with the big guy. The rest of everything else, like I said, has just moved up. We're going to see if we can shoot into uh, some of the models here and then charge the rest, uh, afflicting as much casualty as possible. The one wound that I took from the Tavaragon, he regenerated. Um, so that was working pretty well. We got feel no pain on the armored one, the flying one, and the shrikes uh, from our, our power systems. These two are my uh, yeah, I think All right, so we're going to fire with the Termagons. There, there's only two models close to one guy. So it's two on one. That's all that's going to happen. Let's see what happens. And they completely miss. So pretty irrelevant there. But then we're going to fire the 18 shots into the, uh, well, 12 shots into from the Hive, Hive Tyrant, into this group here. So, all right, so he has preferred enemy, which was good because he won. This guy is shooting here. So he has both the skill, of, I think, three. Yeah, so he needs fours. So those all hit. Now he needs twos. And preferred enemy. Still doesn't work. So six wounds on this model here. Regular saves. Yep. One. Alright. And that's going to be pretty much any other shooting. Uh, I'm going to get into a uh, few runs and assault phases on uh, other models. Uh, um, Alright, so basically uh, just threw the Hormigons into uh, Alpha Squad, uh, as so-called right here. Uh, took down two of them, and they uh, took down five of the Gaunts, but there are still six remaining, and they're still within Synapse, so they're still in the fight, holding on. Uh, that's pretty much where we want to keep things in the battle lines. So we'll see exactly uh, how the rest of it plays out into the Ultramarine Storm. Alright, in terms of all-terrain movement, none of the reserves came in. Everybody's staying out of this for right now. Just kind of, it's kind of scary. Uh, but anyways, uh, in terms of moving things around, all I really did was move this squad forward. Um, the missile launcher guy did not move, the rest of the squad did, and we're actually making his portable cover save uh, one of my targets. Um, these guys, of course, are locked in combat, so they're just doing that. Um, and then the scouts are actually probably going to shoot at his other cover save, depending on how the rest of the other shooting goes. Um, this guy here um, is going to either shoot at the portable cover save or maybe the other uh, gaunt squad, um, just so that I can try to whittle down another troop choice. Um, but I am hoping that this fight here gets settled uh, pretty early so that I'm ready to take the next wave when they arrive. And that's it for movement. Because it's probably the best thing to do is I'm actually just going to go after this guy with all 12 dice. So one. Oh, six. the Venom Corpse. And their love. Yep, and so 12 dice hitting you on twos, wounding you with twos. Yeah. Did you miss? Everything hits. Has that guy hit yet? No, he's ready to fight. All right. The Venom of the Old War here. Oh, it's not luminous. Ten with one rending. <laughs> well, he only has cover. So I need nine, fives, and sixes. Nine, nine. All right, here we go. That one doesn't count because he's stuck. Here we go. And obviously he uh, he got two of the nine of the nine or ten, so he's he's quite dead. He's quite dead. Pop. And you know what that means. You know what that means. What does that mean? One no point. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so that guy there is fired. Um, and that'll change the strategy a little bit now. Um, in reality, let's see here. 
these guys really don't have any good shots or any real chance of wounding these guys. So we're going to be going after his other scoring unit um, because that's one of one of the few ways that I can actually try to win this game. Is to yeah. Make sure that you that you do run out of scoring units. Um, so uh, just for grins, I'm going to use a uh, frag missile. So I'll just put that there for now. Okay. Remind myself. Um, everybody else, um, the sergeant himself can fire. Uh, the flamer guy cannot, of course. Uh, but then um, the other guys can't. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Uh, so it'll be a total of 15 of those dice. This is 12 plus three more. So this will be doing that. And then we'll take the small template. I got smacked for nothing. And we'll put it on somebody we can see. So I'm going to put it right here and let's see where it goes. Okay. It's going to go four inches that way. So let's just take four inches. And it will just hit this dude. Okay. The Venom Fork. So the Venom Fork is going to get himself one wound. And then these are all shots on the uh, little guys. So three's to hit, three's to Five saves. Okay. So there's the cover. Hit, hit. Wound. In case another one. All right, now this pod. What's the toughness on this guy? Six. All right, he's got no other close target he can reasonably see. Okay. So, he's going to shoot you. Two hits. One. Oh, that's right. One hit. And then this is only strength four, so I need a six. No. But he did get hit. Did he get grounded? He did. So strength nine. And he'll take a wound. But he's got feel no pain. Nope. He'll take a wound. All right. So knocked him out of the sky. Now he's All right. Um, these guys. Question is. Go after the portable cover. Or do I go after the little guys? And you know what? I think. I think at this point. I am going to go ahead and go after the little guys. So I'm going to put the template on this guy's head for the rocket launcher. Okay. Both of them. Both of them. So that's two. And then I'm going to have. Uh, Snipers. Okay. The blue hit, hit on a three, the other one's a hit on four. Okay. So that's a miss, and that's a miss. Now these wound on four. They're both rending. So, and then the uh, two other saves, you get one more. So it's a total of three wounds. Cover. Three, you said. One dice. All right. And so that shot. Um, so now uh, the only thing I've got left is assault. So we're going into All right. Well, the assault phase didn't go like last time. Um, I went ahead and uh, had to weather his initiative five uh, power first. Lost four guys, uh, leaving me with three. I was able to just kill one gaunt in return after he made his saves. And um, I decided to break off and peel, try to peel those guys back, even though it's his turn next. Um, and then what he did was is, is uh, broke that small group of guys off to go after the scouts. And that's the end of my turn. All right, so we have uh, really now closed the ground on the last attack of the Marines. The Shrikes have now landed. They're ready to pounce on the fully uh, set up uh, Tyranid uh, 
Bravo team right this set up there. The three on the run and way will be fine. I also brought in the Hive Guard, uh, the Hive Tyrant with his Hive Guard to close the gap. As the, uh, Brian mentioned earlier, the Cormagants have brought, broke off to go for the uh, scouts. The Venom Thorpe is trailing to give a little bit more of that cover um, as things get into a little bit of a situation. I peeled back the Flying Tyrant because it just really, the opportune target is just not close enough. Uh, the Skyfire is kind of keeping them a little limited where you want to go, and I also know that there are two reserves that are still coming in, so I want to kind of keep a presence there. Uh, Again, I spawn, they're out, so no more uh, units are going to be made by the Tavaragon. He's made Dominion to keep everything in place. The other one has done Feel No Pain on itself, so they pretty much weather anything that drops in uh, Brian's face. And now we'll pretty much uh, do a little shooting and go to assault. Alright, so the commander with his guard is going to shoot into the Bravo team. He gets the reroll ones because he hates everybody. Well, prefer me. That's a miss, but only hits on fours. Now he's a strength six, so he'll wound on two. Preferred enemy gets him to reroll that. And wound. So we got six wounds. On a murder. And two. And one's your sergeant. I don't know if you can get him. Yeah, uh, sergeant's in front, so he makes it. So this guy's dead. And then next guy makes it. So this guy's dead. Yep. All right. Uh, there's. Uh, I don't have any other models that shoot that are in range of that area. What's going on there? So we're gonna get into some assault. And. Uh, okay. So Bravo team uh, uh, unfortunately got the ire of both the Shrikes and the Hive Tyrant and slaughtered them to a man. There are no Marines left that left. Uh, so now just Alpha team left looking on as the bloodbath is continued. The other uh, Hormagants ran in and really hit good, but failed to do any poison wounds. Uh, and so only one of them guys died, and then two of them died. So there's only two of them left, but they're still within Synapse, so they're going to fight it to the last. And uh, basically that's going to leave the uh, Ultramarines to come in and retaliate. All right, recapping movement phase for turn three. Uh, basically, the Stern Guard uh, finally came in. They combat squatted into a plasma gun half and a melt gun half um, for different reasons for the targets that they're going after. The Storm Talon itself came flying in, and in fact, actually, let's see here. It has to take a slightly different angle because of the rules, so I'm just going to put it there instead. Um, so it has its view onto what it wants to shoot. Um, the Dreadnought, again, he had to move a little bit because of the assault rules. And then the squad that rallied went there nine inches this way to go help the scouts out, finish off, make sure that those other two Gribblies get finished off. Um, and that should clear scoring units from this half of the table, except for the fact that I've got these really nasty Tyranids all over the place. Unfortunately, over here I've got pretty much 600 points worth of stuff sitting there not contributing at all. First company. I don't, I don't know why, I don't even know why they have first company. I, I, didn't you guys eat them earlier? It, it, maybe that's what they're scared of. There's some type of lore going on because it's, it's um, you would expect a, a veteran first company to be well trained, on time, know what's going on. They left third company out to dry. Already they've taken horrendous casualties. I, I don't know what's going on, um, but there's definitely a backstory there. The librarian might have to answer to it. Yep. I think he might use the Shadow of the Warp thing going on as an excuse, so it depends on what the High Command does. I, I think you got something there, because if you go into the lore, at McCrag, the first company got eaten. Yeah. And then they had to get rebuilt. And then, of course, who cleaned out the Polar Fortress of Bugs? Third company did. What did they do for the rest of the books, and the reason why they're not written up anymore? They bragged about it. Uh, they kept telling first company, yeah, we're better, we're better, we oh, kill bugs. So you definitely I think, have the, the I think, so, I think, literally, we got some sort so of grudge going on. They're up there going on the teleport pad. Yeah. Yeah. Eat those bugs. So Go huge ahead. rivalry going this, on. This where if this is about you, if you really got this, then we can show up on turn three or turn four, turn and, four. Really, and not even worry about and it. We should have it if all you have this, we're just going to walk on, say hello, see how you're doing. Right. And so now there's only three left of, of third company, so uh -huh. apparently something's going on. They, they must have been now listening yeah. to the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and frankly, this is going to get painted up as a first company uh, dreadnought. And, uh, you he's, know, yeah. he's been doing his job. Yeah, he's, he's been awesome. He's, he's been awesome. Been, he's been great. All right, so now it's shooting phase. Okay, let's do it. 
Okay, three wounds apiece. Yes. Toughness four. Yes. Okay. So the Melta Squad's gonna go after them. Okay. And you're getting cover saves anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about focus fire or anything yeah. else. So uh, basically there are uh, a Kami Melta and two regular uh, Meltas. Uh, two Kami Meltas, one regular Melta. And, so, okay. and then the other two guys, um, just because they're first company and they must be punished, they're gonna use um, just the poison rounds. It's gonna hit wound you on threes. I mean, hit you on threes, wound you on twos. Okay. So pretty much the same thing. Hit you on threes, wound you on twos. All right. All right, so four hits. It's uh, two Meltas. Two Meltas. And uh, one regular. All right, so we'll just do, might as well do the big ones first. Yep. So this is from the cover from the um, yep. the Venom Thorpe. Got two of them. And these are tough, double your toughness. Yep. And then the cover is fine. Yep, so two strikes are instantly be killed. Yep. All right. Now we're gonna to go to the other squad, see what they can do on this group. They've got the plasma, so the plasma is AP2. Yep. So it should go right through any invulnerable saves that you would have had if you were a Terminator. Um, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's a uh, rapid firing plasma gun, a rapid firing combi plasma, a rapid firing combi plasma, and then we'll just use some other dice colors that I haven't used yet. For the other two guys shooting, um, the usual poison rounds. Poison rounds. All right. So threes to hit. And, and there is a one. So this is, in fact, this guy didn't hit anything. Um, he lives. All right. And everything else is a hit. Okay. So you have. Four strength seven yep. AP two and two strength uh, four. Okay. Um, Taking the AP two first, I think it. Yep. Take the AP two first because we're going to big boss. All right. So you're going to basically do four lookout search. And we'll only get two of them. So one of these guys is dead. And two wounds on the armored bunk. And he's going to take two. He's got some of that going Armor on. Armor saves. A lot more and he makes those. All right. Okay. So those two groups have fired. Um, we're going to move on to uh, the flyer. So um, basically the uh, twin linked assault cannon, and then it has the sky hammer missiles. Okay. So I'm going to hit you on twos. Okay. Um, and then this is also um, that... Um, what do they call it? That other new special rule, strafing run. Okay. So basically, any wounds it could pin you. Um, in addition to the fact that you know it's just dead. So I'm gonna hit you on twos. Everything hits, so I didn't have to re-roll anything. This is on the strikes. Nope. This this is on that. Okay. So. Um, those are strength seven AP fives. Okay. These are strength six, um, and I'm going to need fours. fours to wound you. And this one is rending. Okay. So, so you want to save the rend? Um, I'm going to save the rend. Why don't you take the other ones first? All right. So there's basically uh, two. He makes both of those. Two more. He fails one of those, and the rend will basically kill him. Okay. So you lose his other body. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Um, so this is fired now. Yep. Uh, this guy here, you know, I'm gonna just dump everything to, into him. How many how many wounds does he have? He has left? two left. He has two left. So it's gonna be 12 dice going into the big guy. Hitting you on two. Yep. Finally missed one. And force the wound. Force the wound and rending. One rending. And two regular saves, so he could die. And two regular saves. Nope, he lives. All right. 
So he has one wound left? He has one wound left. Okay. And is he affected by Penny? No. All right. Um, let's see here. The pods are going to fire at these guys, the shrikes. So um, I'll just shoot the first two pods at them. So three for hit. Of course. Two saves. Yeah. Uh, five, right? Yep. Straight for 85. All right. Uh, this guy is going to shoot at him, but it's looking for sixes, and he doesn't get it. Um, those guys are actually going to charge in, yep. so they're pretty much uh, right where they're at. So, so that's where everything is. At this point, I'm going to assault. Okay. Is this worth recounting? <laughs> is, is this worth recounting? I don't know. Um, over there, um, two Gaunts versus a total of uh, five Marines, two more scouts. Three more regular Marines. Uh, basically, one scout died. One, two scouts died. No, one scout. Two scouts died. Two scouts died. Two scouts died versus one gun. So I actually lost, and then you let me consolidate into it. So it's pretty funny. They could. I'm not zero. Why not go ahead and roll? So this would be the scouts. Um, they're running away. Yeah. They have a nine, so they are. Because yeah, um, I think the scout sergeant's leadership, actually, he is a nine, so they're not going anywhere. It's my uh, yeah. And then the other guys, they aren't running. So the scouts would run. The scouts are actually going to go seven inches. And the other guys are still. They stay. All right. And that's the end of Marine turn three. Yeah. Going to turn four for the.